Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Josh, the bio dude. And with me today, I have Sean Barnett, a very close friend of mine that I've known for a while. Sean, will you uh, tell the crowd back yourself a little bit for me? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I've been working with Josh at the bio dude for quite some time now. I've done a little bit of product design for him, and uh, I've also worked on some of the blog articles, um, like the science behind the soils. That was uh, me writing those. Um, and yeah, I've done a little bit of the product design and I've helped Josh with this as well. Um, this is something that I've used in my personal collection for quite some time uh, with some pretty incredible results. Um, but it's something that we've kind of struggled to uh, put into a format that's easily distributable and easily uh, used in you know, our customers' tanks. And we finally managed to work that out and we're real excited to bring this to you guys because it's it's really exciting. It's it's definitely a one of a kind product and the product's called Bioshock. Now it's packaged in a little four ounce deli cup here with one of the dude substrates in it. Um, I'll typically fill it up with the terraflora or terrafauna, but it can be used in all four of the substrates. And what it what this product is? This is essentially a supplement for your substrate that creates beneficial microorganisms as well as provide nutrients for your substrates utilizing specific types of fungi and specific types of bacteria. And I'm actually gonna have Sean go into a little bit of the science behind it, uh, on how it works. Right, absolutely. Uh, so the first thing that this is gonna do um, is one of the uh, kind of stumbling, stumbling blocks that uh, the bioactive community has had for quite some time is that you know you have your microorganisms in there that are breaking down the poop but when they're all done with it it's still poop at the end of the day it's just a lot smaller and a lot more finely processed and what has to happen after that the final step in the biological cycle is for beneficial microbes to transform that into nutrients the plants can easily uptake and what's going to happen uh, normally in a bioactive tank is those microbes will kind of over a period of months get established on their own. Um, but there's a couple problems with that. Number one, uh, you won't always have the most effective and the most efficient uh, species establishing themselves in your tank. Um, and you generally won't have um, as wide of a variety of them. And you can sometimes get uh, varieties that are going to um, you know, not be uh, that great for animals, cause disease and stuff like that, uh, if you know the animal was to have a wound on it. So what we do with this, is it kind of gives it a little bit of a kickstart right at the beginning. Uh, that way these are the most beneficial and the most effective strains of bacteria uh, and mycorrhizal fungi and, arche and archaea. Um, so they'll get a nice head start, they'll outcompete those other varieties and you can ensure that you're gonna have a nice, quick, effective biological cycle in your tank um, rather than a slightly less effective uh, form that you would have otherwise. So the first thing that you're gonna have in here is gonna be your, uh, your aerobic bacteria. Uh, which are going to be the most efficient um, form of decomposition in your tank. Uh, they're going to be taking all your nutrients from your uh, biodegradables and from your uh, pet's waste, and they're going to be converting that back into uh, food for your plants. Now, the second thing in here is actually going to be your mycorrhizal fungi, uh, which isn't going to directly uh, transform that poop into uh, nutrients for your plants. Instead, what it actually is going to do is it uh, forms a symbiotic relationship with your plant's roots. Uh, so it effectively is going to increase the surface area of those roots dramatically, often by tens or hundreds of, or, or even thousands of times, um, and allow your plant to up uptake those nutrients a lot more quickly and effectively. And the last thing in here is gonna be your archaebacteria, um, sometimes commonly known as archaea. These are uh, commonly, we would think of them as extremophiles. Uh, it's a wide-ranging variety of microbes. You'll find them down at uh, geothermal vents on the ocean floor, to uh, volcanoes, to the ice caps. You'll find them everywhere. Um, and recently, we've been finding that they are really everywhere. They're not just in those extreme environments. Uh, you'll find them in you know, the soil in your backyard sometimes. So what we've found is a variety that's going to tolerate a wide range of conditions that you're normally going to see inside your uh, bioactive vivarium. Everything from a jungle environment to a desert one. All biomes! Exactly. We love it. Um, and what they're going to do is they're going to, uh, a lot of the times, actually displace some of your uh, bad bacteria that you normally wouldn't want. 
uh, for instance, these will actually survive in an anaerobic environment and continue uh, to convert waste in that environment where uh, the aerobic bacteria in that environment will unfortunately die and be replaced by, be replaced by anaerobic bacteria, uh, which can release hydrogen sulfide and, hydrogen and other uh, sulfurous compounds, which are extremely poisonous. Um, and that's why, exactly, that, that's why you would normally have your drainage layer to prevent that possibility from happening, but this can be kind of a, a nice little fail safe uh, if something was to go wrong. So uh, the, the second part of this is that it's actually going to act as an organic fertilizer for your plants. Uh, you're going to have a nice 4 to 4 to 4 percent ratio of nitrogen, phosphate, or phosphorus, and potassium for your plants. And that's going to generate nice, healthy growth, which a lot of the time is what's going to prevent your plants from growing that well in your vivarium. I know a lot of you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, your plants get kind of stringy, uh, they don't seem to stand up to a lot of weight, your frog jumps on one and the leaf like falls off almost. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and a lot of that is just due to the fact that plants aren't getting the nutrition that they need. And that's really tough to find fertilizers that are going to do that job and be safe for your animals because a lot of them are going to be quite dangerous. Um, so what we've done is we've used organic fertilizers that are perfectly safe for your animals. I've used this in my tanks for years. Uh, everything from uh, my dart frogs and day geckos up to our scrub pythons and my mangrove monitor. Uh, it has worked well for pretty much everything. I've managed to grow, grow a lot of plants that uh, typically are thought to be problematic. Everything from uh, dwarf umbrella trees to African violets uh, to certain palms and uh, like Madagascar palms, stuff like that, that a lot of the time causes a lot of trouble for keepers. Uh, so now I think we're going to go ahead and go over how you would add this to your soil. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, so on the bottom here, I have the Terra Sahara, and this is actually the Zoomed Bulgarium, just for a reference. So I, I chose the Sahara because the bio shop, this is gonna be one of the most effective things as far as all of my substrates go. It's gonna be pretty paramount all around, but as far as the Sahara goes with the type of biome that we are replicating, this is really gonna act as what Sean was saying with the fail safe, making sure your animals have the best environment as possible. So the bio shot is distributed per quart. So in, so in each container, I can fit up to um, a, a, a hundred quarts just in one little container. So essentially for every quart that you buy, I'll include another section in here. So it'll start at 495 per quart. And then as you, you know, get a, a little bit more established, um, it'll, uh, you know, go, go up in price and I'll have that breakdown on the website for you. So essentially, um, it's as simple as taking your bio shot and dumping it into your tank. Um, mix it around a little bit, just yep. to make sure it's nice and distributed through your soil. Um, you know, you don't want any one pocket that's got too many nutrients for your plants that it could cause problems. And you want to make sure that none of the plants are getting deprived of those nutrients. Mm -hmm. So after that, we'll go ahead and add in your biodegradables. Yep, and in the Sahara, I'm almost always going to mix in some of the biodegradables into the substrate, just because that really helps with aeration, as well as give these little organisms a little bit more fuel. Nice and simple. Now, when you have the bio shot in here, that is really going to help some of your harder, I don't want to say harder to keep plants, but your really beautiful plants that some people might be not as, uh, they might be a little bit more hesitant to get because they think they're they're so pretty, they gotta be hard to take care of, just like when people see dark frogs for the, for the exactly. first time. You know, and it, and uh, I just wanna make one thing earlier. It's, it's, it's per bag, that's my fault. I said per quart earlier, it's per bag. So if you buy one bag of, of Sahara, there'll be one shot in here. And the, the more bags you have, the more shots you need. So it's all broken down under the under the product on the website. And I'll be making, uh, like I said, I made the the science behind the soils blog post. I'll be making another one for this as well. Uh, both going over uh, kind of how we've broken it down in terms of pricing and in terms of how much you're going to need, and also just the science behind it and the specific strains of bacteria and microorganisms and stuff like that. A uh, lot more information, a lot more in depth than we could ever really cover in the video. Um, so definitely. Um, 
I'll post the link to that article as soon as it's up under the video. So definitely go check it out. We'll have a lot of good information for you under there. Yeah, and, and, and honestly, guys, the biggest thing I want you to take from all of this is our goal, and even my goal especially, but Sean's goal too, is we want to push the best care rather than the basic care. Because we want to make our reptiles and amphibians feel at home because they are wild animals. And it is of a paramount importance to making sure that we are providing the cleanest, best husbandry that we can give to them because that is what keeping these wonderful creatures is all about. Absolutely. And again, again guys, my name is Josh Halter. I am the founder of The Bio Dude. I would really, really like to thank Sean for his time in helping us out today. And if you guys would have any other questions, feel free to, uh, to, to contact me. Definitely follow me on Facebook and subscribe to The Dude on YouTube. Thank you guys very much. Absolutely. Have a nice day.